Are you pain today? Um, I'm thinking of doing something in a kind of a series, maybe. And uh, I want to um, just kind of uh, uh, start now with this, uh, just the grayish color. And uh, I, I want to put some blue. That's my purple, I guess. I want more blue in here. Um, step wet. I'm going to put some a little bit of background in there. Just a little bit. Some greens. That was kind of a red. Bring it down here. dark color here, right in here like this, and then one right here, I think the sun there too, see this, one, two, three, four, five, sun, big one right in here. It's a funny start, but uh, sometimes you gotta start funny. You get what you want. Then there's other trees over in here like this. And he's coming down like this. And uh, a little bit. Make it run down a bit more. Over here, it starts up in here, and it's got things like this, one like that. Some go, some go down like that. Can't hardly really tell them apart yet. Those go way to the top. All these go way to the top. And way to way down to bring it down like this. Comes down like that. And this one comes more like that. And this is a big one. Comes right down like that. And there's another one. And then what's one over here? Pine trees. Some of them come down. Some came down like that. Some up in here. You can see the sky be between. And this big one has uh, branches coming like, yeah, that's a good thing. Eh? Sometimes it helps you, maybe not. Okay. And uh, there's a few back in here, like this. Uh, 
Now I'm going to see if I can mess it all up really good. And that's what I do a lot of times. I mess them up. They strain. Sometimes the sprain does all what you want it to do. And sometimes not so much. I like to take risks with my watercolor. You see, that's a risk to do that. But why not? It's just watercolor. And I I like um Sometimes it's a pain upside down. But sometimes you get a, a good result. And uh, so on, um, especially on this big one right in here, I want to come down like that. Some of these others, they come down a little bit. Maybe like that. You know, just if that's a tree, you know, winding around down in there somewhere. Same way with this. All right, I turn this the other way, and um, I'm going to start using some of my beauty proof white because I want some different colors in there. And uh, it's always good to have. I'm going to use it now on the blue and uh, bring some of the blue back in here. I was reading today in my Bible verse, and it's Ecclesiastes. Um, that's a big name, isn't it? But verse 9, it says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rests in the bosom of the fool. Say not thou, what is the cause that the farm, former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight which he has made crooked? I like that. You know, I'm thinking about these trees. You know, who can make it straight when he's made it crooked? And uh, I, I think this verse goes real good. I, um, I like to think of um, not getting angry. You know, we get angry at the people. But you know, anger is for fools, it says. And so our spirit should always be meek and not angry. So today, that's my Bible verse. Now I'm going to go on with the painting, hopefully. I had one more verse I missed, and it's verse 29 of the same chapter, and it says, Lo, this only have I found, that God has made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. It seemed God gave man a will of his own, and so he can do what he wants. But when you were born, God wanted you to be good, but you know, we all sin and sin short of the glory of God because of Adam. I'm not going into that anymore. 
This is my painting coming. Here's your white over here. I'm trying to make it a little abstract. There's a white right up in here. Yeah. This over here, I'm gonna just about cover it up just a little bit like this. Some of the I might take my brush with a little white on it and uh, kind of hit it like this. Sometimes it helps and sometimes it don't. Is this tree here is the one that has all the big shapes on it. It's quite a bit. That's all right. I can use that orange but over here, over here, down in here. See? This one here comes down. So I like this. Maybe it's a, another one there. And this one comes down. Like this. I'm taking some white and I'm putting it around this around these. Very sad. over in here like this. And that's pretty wet yet. So it's a black here. I'm gonna kinda do this. So um it's not like this. right in here like this. this. You can't, while it's wet you can't really see it. I'm sort of fading this tree out a little bit more by uh, my white. That purpose. Where it is. I can use my palette brush on this pretty tree. Let's see if I can get some. Let's see if I can get something going on it. Interesting. Some of that's dry. At least that helps a little. Then you spray that just a tiny bit. See what it does. Sometimes it does things you like. Okay, 
okay, and I'm going to use my white again. And because uh, I right over here, I want it pretty white. Pretty white in there. Right there. Like that. Just kind of using my white right now over here. I want to use a color. I think I'm going to use this here, orange here, like weeds. Right in here. Maybe some green. Just kind of fussing around with. I don't want it to be realistic looking, but um, it's probably going to be more realistic than I want. But I'm, I'm experimenting today, and uh, I do want some color in the sky, so I'm going to put a little, little bit of the orange up in here. And that, that white is very wet, so. some touches of orange um, just to give it color. Um, then I'm going to put some more white in my purple and uh, see what color I get here. I want a little bit of this color too. Just kind of putting it up like that. Just get some purple here. See the leaves going up by the put some purple right there. Put some up in there. Right in <clears throat> this main flower, flower trap, flower as a tree. I know the difference. Make this smaller in here. See what you can do with white. Make that a smaller tree. I like to have this a little bit white around this tree because it's going to be the focal point. And uh, I've got some um, Bombay ink and it's um, sepia. I'm going to try it over there. Once you use ink, you can't get it raw. I'm going to seal it. It does on this tree. I'm gonna kind of make it like I'm over here now and do that. And this tree here is my main tree.
I just bring in some shapes. See, I'm just making this abstract. And once you get this thing called there, Dries, and you can't do nothing with it. Over here, pick up a little bit more. This is right in here. It's running down. I'll have to use a brush in a minute. It's kind of messy, but uh, it's abstract, you know. Now this is a hybrid watercolor. It's not ink. The ink will stay on there, see. Just stay right there. Once it dries, it's there. Now let's see. Maybe I'll use a little purple in this tree. Purple now. Make this one come down like that. Or AI in a year like this and bring branches. Just kind of bring your shake your hands a little bit. This is purple. This here is another one I want to come down from that big tree. This two. Put a little bit of orange on the tree. I do want to make this darker in here. That's my main tree right in here. mat on and I just wanted to make a little more of this type of thing. And this is white and green with a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit of texture. Maybe I could put some on this tree a little bit right in there. And 
come in. So it was out of my pine tree. Do you like that pine tree? It's different. Anyway, um, I'm trying to do my, uh, my trees in a different kind of a way. And uh, of course, you know, I like pine trees. And uh, I, I still think I could have just one more touch to it. And you never think you're finished, do you? Right in here. That kind of goes like this. Let's bring this one down a little bit. I call that done. And uh, that's my nice pine, pine trees. I see one spot though. I missed right up here. There we go. See there? That's not too bad. I hope you I'll try something like this. Um, it's a fun thing to do. It doesn't have to real, look realistic, but it's, um, it makes a pretty painting. And uh, that looks up as blue sky tonight, today, right now. It's about two o'clock, and uh, the white clouds are billowing in the blue sky. It makes me think, you know, God is there. He's hoping, to, he's looking after us. I hope you have him in your heart today. And uh, I, I pray that you will enjoy these videos, because I'm 98. And you know, I can't paint like I used to, the details and everything, but uh, I hope you like it anyway. And thank you for watching. I have, I love my comments. Thank you very much. I forgot the close-ups. I always do that, don't I? I'm going to bring it over here like this, see if I can get this close-up. Bring it over this way. That went too far. Well, there you are. Maybe I'll show you one more. Right there. Thank you for watching. You know what I forgot? I forgot to say my favorite Bible verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever could mean you or me who believes on him may have eternal life and never have to perish. Isn't that wonderful? Eternal life forever and ever. You better choose that. Don't choose the other way. And... I love you all. Goodbye.